Hey guys, this is Goldie again, and in this uh, video, I'll show you how you can handle the case uh, when you're doing Okta to Google either provisioning or single sign on, but your domain name in uh, your AD or Okta is different than what you have in G Suite or in Google Cloud Platform. So I've seen this uh, use case a couple of times. It may be due to branding or other reasons, and I've done a couple of Im implementations where I've faced this. So I thought, let me make a video and I'll show you how you handle this. So to show you that, if I go to my uh, Active Directory here uh, and show you a user that I have. So this user, if you look at this user, uh, that is uh, with ad.goldiero.com uh, and that's what uh, I have uh, as the email of this user, test at ad.goldiero.com. Okay? and now when I go to uh, my directory here and search for people I brought this user from my AD via AD sync and uh, if I go to this user's profile you will see that this user Okta username is test at ad.coolio.com and also when you look at his primary email that is also on ad.goldiero.com however if I go to my uh, Google Admin Console here, you will see that I do not have ad.goldiero.com as, as a domain. So when I create users, it has to be on any of these domains. So first of all, you need to make sure that when you're doing a provisioning, it you would be sending the primary email address in any of these domains that you have configured in Google. And that has to be either the primary domain or the secondary domain, not the alias domain. Okay, and then the second thing that you need to take care of when you're doing, let's say, a single sign-on from Okta to Google, that in the name ID you are sending users primary Google email address. Okay, so for that, and I'll search for G Suite. When I go to G Suite, I'll go to Assignments tab, and I'll assign that to people or user, and I will assign it to my test user. Now this test user, as you see, it has. Uh, ad.goldier.com so when I try to assign it will say this is the username it will try to push to Google and Google does not have this domain so ideally I should get an error so if I click on save and go back and click done it gives me error right away and when I just click on that bubble it says provisioning failed because the user's email domain does not match the domain specified in Google Apps or in Google Cloud identity. Right, so what we need to do here is we need to transform or put an attribute transformation rule in Okta so that Okta just reads test and then replace anything that comes after at the rate, so replace ad.goldero.com to id.goldero.com. So I'll close it from here and then I'll go to sign on page here. Okay, I'm using Okta for, to do my user lifecycle management as well. In case if you're using Google Cloud Directory Sync, that you should be, uh, then you should be doing that transformation there. So I'll click on Edit. If I scroll down a bit, you will see Application Username Format, and that is specific to G Suite. It will not impact any other application that you have at Okta, like Salesforce or Workday or anything. It will only impact your G Suite or Google Cloud identity. So here, Okta username is test at ad.goldero.com. I do not want that to be sent. I want to change it. So here, I can choose any property which has uh, test at id.goldero.com, but in my case, uh, none of these uh, have that. So I'll go with custom. When I click on custom, Okta gives me a reference to uh, their expression language, which is, by the way, very powerful. When I click on that, you will see that there are a lot of uh, flexibility available here. So you can you know, use conditionals and you can do a bunch of other things. But uh, I will be searching for this one, which is uh, be which will be helpful in our case, which is substring, uh, string dot substring before. So let me put it here and show you what it does. So this will take the email address, which is a variable. Uh, user dot email in Okta, and then it will parse whatever is before that string before at the rate, 
and then we can append our domain name to it okay so let me just go here and put this expression first then we will change it so instead of putting it as a string I will remove this and I will say user dot email so user dot email is a variable of my Okta username here and then I will say whatever is before at the rate sign in my case which is test parse it and then append ID ID dot goldie Aurora.com to it okay and before I save change ideally I should do a preview so I'll put my test user and as you say our test user has an email which is test at ad.goldier.com so if I give it as an input in preview I see that it has converted it to test at id.goldier.com so our expression is working fine I will go ahead and save it you have an option to either do a create only and create an update okay so I will do save and now I'll go back to assignments tab and this time when I try to assign it idly when I say test instead of ad.goldier.com it should be sending id.goldier.com as you see here okay so this time if I click on save and go back idly it should not give us any error one person assigned successfully if I go to my uh, Google domain here if I say test it shows that this user has been created okay now our user has been provisioned if I go to uh, my Okta dashboard and I put my test user credentials test instead of ID it is AD and then I'll put my password here and I should ideally I should see all the G Suite applications assigned when I click on Gmail I should be landing hopefully to Gmail and I am now in Gmail which is great okay so this is working fine and we are logged in with our id.goldier.com that is in Gmail okay and now let's uh, in case if you're using Google Cloud Platform as well let us do it for that too so if I go to my Google Cloud Platform application if I go to assignments if I click on assign to people I'm going to search for test and by the way we need to do that same uh, SAML attribute transformation here but I wanted to show you how does that look if you don't do that so if I assign it to people search for test and then assign it see this is the email address that is being assigned to Google and Google does not know this address because they don't have the AD domain so I'll say save click on done go back to my Okta dashboard do a quick refresh to see Google Cloud Platform here now I see Google Cloud and it's essentially what's gonna happen is when I click on this it should not take it because Okta is now sending the Okta username which is test at ad.goldier.com uh, to Google and Google should not accept it because it does not recognize that uh, email so when I click on that it says we are unable to process your request okay so let us do here let's see in case if we have the SAML extension installed here and we do so let me refresh this and then if I scroll down a bit in the response section you will see that in the name ID Okta is trying to assert uh, test at ad.goldier.com and Google does not recognize this so what we need to do to fix it is to also change or transform this attribute okay so we will go to sign on okay let me remove this from here and then we will go to sign on click on add it I'll click on this drop down and say it's custom I'm gonna put my expression here and my expression should be user dot email okay and then I'm going to append uh, at the rate id.goldier.com which is the domain that I have in Google and now if I search with my test user it is transforming it fine so I'll click on save 
and then uh, go back to assignments and this time assign it to people do it to my test user again so instead of AD it should transform it to ID which it did so I'll also save and go back done okay now let's go back do a quick refresh I'm assuming I should I need to log out and now when I click on Google Cloud Platform it is uh, working fine because in the name ID this time we are sending the same Google user primary email address uh, which is test at id.goldero.com okay so this is working fine so this is how uh, you can leverage Octa's expression language uh, to transform your, your SAML attributes on the fly instead of impacting your other applications. So you can do that with a bunch of things, not just uh, the user's email address, but think of, you know, in case if you have, let's say, in your Active Directory, you have phone number and extension, like in one string, you need to make it two different strings, like phone number, one is extension. So you can do a bunch of things with it and uh, it also has conditional expressions so you should be able to do like true or false so if you give condition if that happens then this is true this is pretty flexible in my blog post I have a section on conditional expressions where I have put uh, some of the expressions that I've used frequently where uh, when doing octa and juicy implementations you can leverage it I really love this uh, stuff in case if you have any requirement of any expression just uh, put a comment in my blog post and I'll see if I can help you with that with that thank you so much in case if you have any questions comments feedback put that under this video and I will be happy to collaborate thank you so much